Hello, welcome everyone to today's webinar. Today is November 3rd, 2022. We have a very special online webinar today with our uh, Sean Frederick Polinski, and he's the creator of the Deep Cycle programs. So before we start, we just have to uh, fill the housekeeping items to let everybody know that today's webinar will actually be translated simultaneously in French, Spanish, Mandarin, Japanese, and Korean. So in case you cannot find the interpretation uh, button, if you have a desktop, you can see that at the bottom of your screen. If you're on your cell phone, it's gonna be hidden on the right-hand side at the bottom with three dots. You need to click that, and then also you'll be able to see the translation function interpretation to choose the language. We hope everybody can enjoy today's webinar in your language of choice. And also, before we start, all the information that we provide today is only for information and for educational purposes only. And due to legal reasons, we will not be able to discuss anything related to diseases or any diagnosis. If you need any medical advice, we advise that you speak to a qualified uh, professional for the advice. And for today, I'm very honored to be able to host today's webinar with uh, Yang, and uh, we'll be covering a lot of topics today. And of course, everybody wants to explore, to have a deep dive into the Deep Cycle Harmonics programs. I believe this is the first time that Yang will be covering the uh, entire 12 programs of the Deep Cycle Harmonics. It might be also the last time that he was just mentioning about. And before we go into the Deep Cycle programs, uh, we think that it is very important for everyone to understand the basics or the foundations of how frequencies or how electromagnetism works for uh, how it affects our body and our health. So Yang has put together a very condensed version of the uh, electromagnetism uh, seminar for us to begin with. And uh, so before I introduce uh, Yang to uh, to join us on the floor, we'd like to read a little bit about Yang's background. Yang, of course, as we all know, he's the creator of the original Deep Cycle and the Deep Cycle Harmonics programs. He's the founder and CEO of Unovita, the Clinic of Integrative Medicine in Norway. As a practitioner and a teacher, Yang focused on electromedicine and integrative medicine since 2008, with extensive research and development of new health concepts and elect electromagnetic frequency systems. He has a very close working relationship with Dr. Luno Nina, the creator of the Gold Frequencies, and since their meeting with Marcus, they have both contributed to the development of the frequency system at Time Waver. 20 years ago, before establishing himself in the health and wellness industry, Yang was working as an IT professional and an innovator in the industry. He has mostly self-taught. His main competence within the field of health comes from 14 years of private studies of electromagnetism, quantum physics, biology, bioelectricity, and medicine in a broad perspective for example, like natural medicine, alternative medicine, nutrition, and general medicine and related. So after many years of running a home-based practice, he formally established a clinic for integrative medicine in Oslo, Norway in 2019. And the clinic has provided him with valuable clinical experiences and a holistic understanding of health and diseases. So nature is the religion for young, and we are looking very forward to and very excited for Yang to share with us his knowledge and wisdom on today's webinar. So welcome Yang to today's webinar. I'll pass the floor to you for you to share your knowledge and wisdom with us. And I'll be back to join you on later with the Q&A for everyone. Hello, Yang. Hello, thank you very much for this very nice introduction. Welcome today for everybody all over the world. Some has the it's morning, <clears throat> it's day, it's evening. Some people even have night. So it's interesting to meet you in this, uh, in this uh, let's say, multi-time zone, real-time experience. Yes, I just want to correct a small thing you said, Simon. And thank you very much, Simon, and your team and the translators for doing this great job and putting all these uh, beautiful people together. <clears throat> so thank you. <clears throat> um, I, I opened the clinic in Oslo in 2010, so not 19. So it's been uh, 12 years of the clinic. 
and uh, started, as you said, treating people in 2008 well, based on electromagnetic principles. So as you understand, electromagnetism is a little bit my baby <clears throat> and I want to explain you why. So let's just jump right at it. Okay, so <clears throat> I say the secrets of electromagnetism, light and your invisible reality, because uh, this is good coverage because everything around you is electromagnetic. And I will explain this much more in detail. So first a little jump <clears throat> to my religion. I, <clears throat> I have searched since I was a small boy to understand why are we here? What is the universe? How does the body work? Where do we come from? Where are we going? Nobody could tell me. <clears throat> so after many, many years, I discovered that I could understand a lot about nature if I understood the electromagnetic properties of nature and some quantum physics. But my advice to you, and I'm not going to go deep into this uh, principle or my belief system, where, which I call nature is my relation, because it's all compiled in a PDF and it will be shared to you. So I urge you to read it uh, because Yes, it's a little philosophical, philosophical but uh, it also represents a clear view of my understanding of my research and my whole life experience on how things work. And also, I think it's important to comprehend that we are beings from nature. We are beings from nature, just as all the other animals, plants, everything on this earth. And health is being natural. You find health in nature. So the reason or a main reason that so many people today struggle with health issues is because we are not living a natural life. So if you go outside and you go to the sea and you can see this picture, this was one night we spent outside sleeping in summer just some kilometers away from where I live. When you go to the sea, you get the light from the sun. You get the <clears throat> air full of negative ions, which is actually charging you. Uh, and you get the contact with the ground, which charge you and synchronize you with nature. When you touch a tree, you are being charged and synchronized with nature. So, you find your health in nature. I urge you to think about this. For everything we do in technology, it's merely a primitive imitation of what we do in nature. Um, so if you go out in a pure nature, go into a mountainside and there comes water out of the mountain, which is pure from the inside of the mountain, it's the best water you can get. So what do we want to do at home? We want to try to mimic and produce the similar water to bring nature into our environment. Okay, so I think this uh, more or less uh, what I'm going to say about this because it correlates with, uh, with the next levels. And there are some scientific consensus or let's say scientific agreements what we do know because mostly we don't know. The truth is we know very, very little. And the less you know, or the less you think you know, the probably more you do know. Because the universe and nature is incredible extensive. <clears throat> so uh, we can say that of the universe, we see around us, our body, this room, this chat, everything you see, it's electromagnetic. That's the physical existence. Uh, and that's 4% of the universe. This 4% is what our science knows something about. They have theories and speculate about all the other, the 96%, which we call dark energy, dark matter. And yes, some of the theories are probably right and some are not, but just comprehend that we know this much you are waiting. Sorry, Yang. I think, are you moving the slides? People were asking if the slides are moving because we don't see the slides moving. 
and Auschwitz? Uh, I shift the slides. Oh, you shift the shared. slides. Uh, I see your slides, but it's not. It's still on the first page. Okay, so well, I'm moving the slides, and it's being shared. So maybe I should unshare and share again. Yeah, you should want to stop and then share again. Thank you. Okay, let's share the screen. Let's do the slide. Share from the beginning. Oh, something happened. It says, sorry about that. It's still loading. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. We're just sorting out the slides so that everybody can see. Hello, Yang, are you there? I was unmuted. Okay, yes. So I didn't do it, but... Um... Let's see if we can share the screen again. Can you see it now? I see your screen, yes. Okay. So I was here. Can you now see the scientific yes. consensus? Yes, now we can see it, 4% and 99%. Thank you. All right, so very good. So <clears throat> the, the, the whole point here uh, was that um, our science uh, has investigated a lot of things and has a lot of theories about many things, <clears throat> but 4% of it is what we can see, touch, feel, and we can use. We use it in computers, we use it in today when we speak together, <clears throat> and everything we know, which is physical, has electromagnetic radiation, which I will explain to you what is. That means nine to 6% of it is what we call dark matter, dark energy. And we have a lot of fancy theories what it is, but we don't have really proof what it is. Uh, so <clears throat> I think it's useful to focus on what we know. And that is electromagnetic uh, waves, electromagnetic frequencies, electromagnetic radiations, such as light and such as you seeing me now. Another important fact is that 99% uh, of the molecules of the body are water. Uh, so <clears throat> we are, in a way, water machines, or we are made of water and running on light, which is electromagnetic. So let me explain. So I say electromagnetism defines our physical reality. <clears throat> and that's because everything in this reality, including your body, your cells, the DNA, the walls around you, the light you see, the stars you see, the universe, everything vibrates and sends out electromagnetic waves. This is uh, how we can understand reality. And even your emotions are stored in the body as electromagnetic patterns and can be felt by others. There was a smart guy once, Albert Einstein, and he said, everything is energy <clears throat> and uh, there is no matter. Well, uh, that can be argued, but for sure, we know that 99.9999 is energy. There is <clears throat> some small portion that might be called matter, but, uh, but mostly we are energy, informational energy. We have another smart guy called Nikola Tesla. And uh, he is the reason we're talking today because he invented wireless transmissions and so forth. He said, if you want to understand the universe, you need to think of energy, frequency, and vibration. And for me, frequency, vibration, oscillation, rhythm is more or less the same thing. And I think it was pretty right. So I'm going to tell you what is electromagnetism. Electromagnetism is when there is charged particles, energetic particles that is moving. When these particles is moving through, let's say, a conductor, let's say this is iron. So there is 
electrons moving through this one. And then it will always generate a magnetic field 90 degrees, as you see up in the upper right corner. So electromagnetism consists of two words, electro and magnetism. That's because whenever charges or electrons are moving, you generate an electric field and you generate a magnetic field, electromagnetic fields. So your heart generates electromagnetic fields and the light is electromagnetic fields and everything has these properties, but they are different in uh, uh, some aspects. So <clears throat> one aspect is that some waves because they move in waves, are slow and calm and very long. And then you look at, for example, radio waves, which can be kilometers long waves. And <clears throat> these waves, they are um, increasing in different wavelengths, in different parts of the spectrum. We call it the electromagnetic spectrum. So in your body, <clears throat> You have cells, molecules, DNA, organs, bones, muscles, brain, whatever. All these parts of you, they resonate, they can vibrate at different rates. So when we are hit or we have an incoming vibration, which is similar to your vibration, it's like a music instrument. You start vibrating more and there is energy transfer. We'll talk more about this. <clears throat> we have, as you see, a part of the spectrum we call visual light. And that's, uh, that's in the middle here. And uh, then you have ultraviolet, which is uh, not harmful uh, unless you get too much of it. And then you get into X-rays and gamma rays. And the thing is that the faster the frequency, the higher the energy. And the faster the frequency, the more it can penetrate through your body. That is why very high frequencies can be dangerous for your body because it can go directly through your cells. It can interrupt uh, your DNA. It can split molecules. And that's what we call ionizing radiation, making ions, charged particles. So we have to be careful about that. And you can also see on the bottom here that uh, different sizes of particles. So you see, if you are in a very high frequency, you can resonate, you can influence virus or bacteria and so forth, even on the atomic level. Let's, let me see. <clears throat> Here is another view of the same thing. Uh, and there you see the waves being shorter and shorter. And um, typically, in, uh, when you're using Healy, you are at the frequencies of uh, 100 to some thousand vibrations per second, which we call Hertz. Okay, so <clears throat> the wavelength is a very important informational factor of this energy we send out. Because if we send out uh, energy in a different, in a wavelength that is not being able to be received, it doesn't resonate to us. So the, the expression people use often in America that this resonates to me, it's because it's possible to receive the information and your brain and your elect electromagnetic system of the body is capable of decoding the information in the waves and understand it. We have something called the uh, sympathetic resonance. And that is the the, the thing that occurs if you have uh, two tuning forks, which are equal, equal in size and proportions. This is just what I'm talked about. If you hit one tuning fork, the other will start to vibrate automatically. So this means that the vibration from one tuning fork is transferred to the other. And that goes also for the information of this vibration, for example, a tone. And we'll see an example of this. Did you see this? Good. So I think it's pretty incredible to understand the fact that some vibration 
here or there or further away can cause some reaction, an energetic reaction in your body or in your cells or in your DNA because of the re sympathetic resonance. This is the principle all uh, developers of uh, frequency related, pulse electric magnetic field related um, therapies use. Because if you're not producing frequencies, vibrations that is in resonance with what with your body or your or your cells, you don't have any effect. But this causes a lot of different things. For example, around the Earth, there is a lightning, about 2,000 lightnings, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom, every second. And this lightning generates a standing wave, a wave that is long and low, low frequency. The base is 7.83 hertz, sorry. <clears throat> and um, this frequency, 7.83 hertz, and the so-called harmonics, which I will explain later, resonates with our internal control system, also for the brain and hormone regulation. So this is um, not a coincidence. We are born here. We are adjusted to being adjusted to the frequency of Earth. One of them is the Schumann resonance. So this is why when, for example, there is a eruption of energy of the sun, a solar flare, it sends out a lot of energy, a lot of frequencies, and it hits the electromagnetic field of Earth. And that influences this wave called Schumann going around the Earth. And we are connected to this Earth. So that's why many people feel uh, more excited. They have problems sleeping and so forth when there is solar storms or other geomagnetic events. I will explain a little bit more about it. And here you see uh, the brain wave. This is a normal alpha state. And you can see the similarity of these two waves, if you have seen this before. So that means that these two waves can start to synchronize and influence your body. And um, for those you don't know, the, the spikes, solar spikes and geomagnetic storms, they can explain a lot of things many people are wondering about. Because people wonder, oh, today I did exactly the same thing as yesterday, but I feel completely different. How come I couldn't sleep last night, but I sleep well last this night? How come my heart is racing? Why do I have pains? Why, 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 why? Well, the natural thing is that we are totally synchronized in resonance with nature. And we cannot help being resonating with the Schumann resonance because our genes, our body is constructed under this electromagnetic environment. So this is one of the explanations why, for example, people think they should always run the same program over a different time. We're talking about Healy or Timer. But of course, your, your environment and how you feel is different, different when the moon is in phase or it's out of phase, different when there's sunstorms, different when there's other influences of, of the waves that influence us. So what is light always like? <clears throat> I say this because um, it's uh, the classical uh, definition of light is that the, this is a part of the electromagnetic waves or spectrum that we perceive and can see with our eyes. But we know that electromagnetic ra radiation is a form of energy that includes radio waves, X-rays, gamma rays, and all, all electromagnetism, uh, as well as visual light. <clears throat> it doesn't have mass, but it travels in packets of energy. These packets are called quanta. So whenever you heard or hear the complicated word quantum physics and all this, what are we talking about? Quanta means a piece or uh, so much of energy. So it's a packet of so much of energy. And these packets, which are sent out from electromagnetic radiations, are called photons. So photons is what we call uh, also see in visual light. But of course, there are photons in all other parts of the spectrum. So for me, it's more simple to say all is light because all is photons, fo all is quantum emissions, packets of energy, and these packets can behave differently. This is the difference. 
<clears throat> so quantum of energy, we call a photon when it's uh, tra transferred from electromagnetic waves. And the sun emits a lot of energy and a lot of photons. Uh, some people ask me what's the difference between a pulsed electromagnetic field and uh, electric current. So when you have uh, the Healy and you have connected the bracelets, for example, or another electro, electro microcurrent device, uh, there is a current going through your body. And since it's always electromagnetic, it means that this current going through your body will 90 degrees generate waves, magnetic waves. So if you turn it around and you use a coil and this coil emits a field and hits your electric wiring in the body, it will generate or induce a current. So it's vice versa, but it has some different effects, but it's two sides of the same story. And here you can see something uh, a little bit, uh, what do we say, sophisticated? <clears throat> it's uh, the sun's and the earth electromagnetic field. We see the earth electromagnetic field and we see the burst from the sun. And actually sometimes every seven, seven minutes, this field connects and it opens a portal which we presume they could travel without time. It's a new research, it's very interesting. Of course, we don't want to travel to the sun <laughs> because we would burn, but we are totally connected with all the, the planetary systems around us, including the sun. And this is a reason that uh, once I was a young boy, I went to the university, I did study astronomy. And I thought, well, you know, I heard about astrology, which uh, claimed to predict our future based on the constellations of the stars. And I was told in university, it's completely bullshit. There is no scientific evidence for this. And of course, you cannot predict anything from the placement of the stars and the planet and so on. And then I spent 40 years studying all these things. And now I can tell you, well, it's not bullshit. Uh, but maybe the, may, the way they do it, it's not, uh, let's say, optimal and the star charts are maybe not correct, but for sure, all the electromagnetic waves coming in from the stars, from the sun, from the moon, they're going into our earth field, which again, influences our field. So we are totally connected to everything around us and the illusion of being alone is only an illusion. You cannot be alone. We are connected as we speak. I'm connected to you, Simon. And if I focus on you and I ask myself a question, my intuition will tell, you, tell me the answer. Not because I'm something special, I'm just human. But I learn to listen to my intuition, to my radio channel, because I'm connected. You are connected, we're all connected. So there is a, make this short, but I think in future, uh, maybe the definition of uh, medicine will be called light medicine because all cells sense out light or electromagnetic waves. And when the light is correct, the charge is correct, there's a balance is correct, all the cells can talk to each other and the environment around the cells normalize. And this is where we get into the term epigenetic. It means above the gene. So it means that if you make an environment which is natural, harmonized, balanced, in sync with the surroundings, you, the DNA will express itself to its best. You will be at your maximum potential. This is the, the, my philosophy. I don't think we're going to replace the body or some will, but I don't want it. I don't want to replace my nature with the machines or hardware or become some sort of a cyborg. What I'm gonna do is to give my body, my mind, my soul, my emotions, the optimal conditions to work. And this is epigenetics. And we know from modern research that I have a personal experience. I'll just share it with you. Uh, there was uh, 10 years ago, uh, I, had a, I was in a bad condition and I was on holiday. And my girlfriend, she was going to have a birthday. 
uh, and we want to celebrate. And I wake up in the morning and I feel my body was not good. It was really not good. And uh, there was my, uh, my blood pressure was incorrect. I was out of balance, totally out of balance. And in the middle of the day, I understood that I had to, to go to hospital uh, because I couldn't risk dying on her birthday. <laughs> it was this bad. And the next day I came back, I was okay, but <clears throat> I was scared. I was scared of the experience of feeling that I might die any second. And my body was cold. I had tingling in the feet. I had dizziness. I could not do anything. Then my girlfriend, she told me a joke. And I couldn't stop helping to laugh. And I laughed for 10 seconds. In 10 seconds, my whole body changed completely. My breath normalized, my blood pressure normalized, my pulse normalized. I was no more dizzy. I could feel my legs, everything was okay. That's epigenetic on a very high level. So the body is capable of changing faces very easily. And we can do that through light medicine. So I was talking about that uh, <clears throat> a lot of people they are interested in uh, people's aura. Uh, and some people can see it, some people cannot. And actually, if you put somebody naked in a completely dark room, many of us can actually see a small glow around the body. This is because we all glow. And the picture to the upper left uh, on my screen is actually uh, naked people dancing in a totally dark room with an infrared camera. And then you can see they all emit light. So we are light beings. And um, Everything else in nature is light beings. Everything else emits light electromagnetic waves. <clears throat> and now they think our consciousness is fields of light. This is consciousness. And at least we know for sure from the research of Albert Fritz Popp that uh, termed the word biophotons, that all cells, they emit light. And this light, tells us something about the state of the cell and the health of the cell and the health of the body. So your light can tell us what is your condition. <clears throat> so you see <clears throat> this picture and it maybe it's not, it's an illustration, it's not a picture, but you see that we have a big electromagnetic field and this field is having vibrations and everything going on inside you is modulated. Let me explain modulation first, because why use a word you don't understand. So modulation, when you listen to the radio, let's say you listen to radio channel FM 102.9 megahertz, million vibrations per second. So you turn on the radio and you listen to this channel. Do you listen to 112 megahertz per second? No. You listen to the voices and the music embedded in the wave. So let's think of a wave like this. But when you modulate it, when you input something more, in, this nice waves get small modulations. And that is the information we take out and play back so we can hear it. The same thing is with us. This is why intuition exists. This is why I, in my clinic, most of the time when I meet a client, I take their hand, I shake their hand, and I know what to do. I know what's the problem. But I, I cannot say it because it sounds too magical. So I measure them, I do all the functional diagnostics, and then we treat them. But you send out the field with your emotions. And when you go into a room, you can, <clears throat> you can automatically sense what's something in this room. If there's something, somebody very hostile, in this room, if there's a good feeling in this room, everything you don't need to see, but you feel it. This is because the electromagnetic fields from everybody contains this information and you have a system receiving it because you are just the same way. So this is a little bit what I explained to you <clears throat> a little bit earlier, but I like to use the word informational energy because from my experience, there is no energy that does not include information. 
to include their frequencies or modulations or more. And this information is shared. And there you see the influence from around us. And now we have a new influence where you see <clears throat> satellites, the Wi-Fi towers, wireless and so forth. This is also information. How does the body react to it? Well, this is not, uh, not this is a different theme, but the body <clears throat> takes in the information and start to resonate with it. And if you send a wave from a mobile phone or a Wi-Fi router or a satellite, it's not meant to be a therapy. It's not meant to help your body. So it doesn't. It causes confusion. It causes oxidative stress and so forth. And there you see, we are influenced by a lot of things, natural things from nature, space weather, and of course, from all the electronics and all the waves that are, uh, we are bombarded with. <clears throat> Interesting thing is that when people meet, it takes 30 or 40 millisecond, millionth of a second, that your brain and your brain and my brain start to synchronize. So the brain, they start to mimic each other so we can understand each other. And, and if you learn to use your intuition, you will automatically know what the other person wants and thinks and feels because you're already having the information. And, um, and um, we see here up left, we see a picture of the heart and the brain. And there's a small story about this. Uh, when there is research showing that the heart detects changes in the environment of many kinds of danger or emotions, and then informs the brain. Uh, so actually the heart is uh, the boss. It's telling the brain what to do. Uh, and in China, they know about this uh, three brains for centuries. So we call it upper Dantian, medium Dantian, lower Dantian. So there were three brains because in your stomach, you have more neurons than you have in your head brain. So actually to think of us functioning from here and the rest is a machine is not true. Everything is involved and the three main centers are the brain, the heart and the sacral area. So you see, you are spreading out a lot of information everywhere and there's coming a lot of information everywhere. So that's why everything is connected, at least on the electromagnetic level. And this is the level we know about. There you see a very primitive machine, a very primitive receiver and sender. So compared to your nature, this is extremely primitive technology. So where did they think about wireless transmission? Yes, because we do it. So everything we see in technology is an attempt to do something we already do in nature. As you see, they send out also a lot of energy and also waves and information, which can be a problem. But compared to our technology, our capabilities is primitive. Okay, so this was not expected. We're going to talk about your magic powers. I will tell you what I think about magic. Magic is when you know something. And if you know something for sure, it does happen. It is like that. That is your reality. So one example um, is, do you love your children? Do you love your mother, mother or father? Most of us will say, yes, I know it. Can you prove it? Do we have a study, double randomized study? No, I know it. So this connection is extremely strong. And you can even feel your children having problems if they're not at home. This is because we're totally connected and we know it. But I'd like you now to make an experiment, experiment with me. So I'll teach you how to be intuitive. It's very simple. First, <clears throat> you must understand that intuition has nothing to do with the brain. It has nothing to do with your emotions. It is just your capability of receiving information and decoding it. <clears throat> so let's say you should trust your heart, trust your feeling. So the experiment today I all like you to do is to write down a question to me. 
which is a yes, no question, not a complicated answer, a yes, no question. So everybody, please write down a question, one question. Let's see how many we can answer. And you have, and it should be a yes, no question. And after you have written down the question, I want you to ask yourself this way. Uh, is the correct answer yes to this question? And whatever turns up in your head, write it down. Because if you think about it, you won't get it right. It's a 50% chance, okay, but you won't get it right. If you feel emotional about it, you don't get it right. So the way to be magical is simply to say, give me a yes or give me a no. And then your brain's gonna say yes or no first and you just write it down. Later, we check it out and see if you're right. If you are capable of not using your brain or emotions, you will be right. Okay, so we're moving into a little bit uh, next level, talking a little bit about the meaning of frequency, <clears throat> rhythm and music. So as I told you, everything in nature is controlled and synchronized by rhythms and frequency. And this we can prove if we're in a hospital, we take MRI, magnetic resonance, we do X-ray, we do ECG for the brain, EKG, EKG, which is for the heart. So we measure all the electric properties of the body, but they forget about the electric and they pretend it's not electric, but that's a different story. But anyway, so our body is a big electric machine and it needs synchronization. And the light and the sunlight synchronize your brain. And this synchronization goes down your body. So that's, <clears throat> for example, inside your cell, you have something called ATP alpha. It's a pump, it's a motor going around in very high speeds and supports the stop and start at the correct uh, timing. And so are a lot of processes in the body. We need to do it correctly. You cannot go to the toilet before you eat the food. You need the food first and then you go to the toilet, right? It's like this with all the cells with every function in the body. So the body has a major clock up here. So the reason I mentioned this is because uh, you need sunlight. You need to go out in nature. In the middle of the day, you need to take a break and get full spectrum sunlight to help you synchronize all the processes in the body. If you don't get sunlight, if you don't have proper light, your body will auto sync. You will have problems sleeping, problem with the hormone regulation and so forth. And now it's another interesting thing that people think they didn't think about. It's, uh, I feel this, I feel this emotion, I feel warm, I feel loving, I'm sad, I'm angry, all these emotions. Is there, is there, are they out there? Is there some esoteric about it? Maybe, but not really, because it's electromagnetic. So emotions, they tend to locate themselves in different areas of the body in electromagnetic patterns. And here you see that uh, example where you feel the emotions. So when you are afraid, you feel it up here. When you're happy, you feel it all over your body. And when you're in love, you're quite happy. But you have a, a more energy in the heart in the sexual area or the sacral chakras. So there's a difference between uh, love and happiness, but it looks quite similar. <clears throat> this I learned from a very uh, good uh, doctor and therapist, Dr. Jerry Tent. And he managed to discover the areas of the body where different emotions are stored. So example, if you have a lot of fear and anxiety, it will influence your kidneys or the sacral area, which includes the bladder, sexual organs, and so on. Joy is something you feel in the heart. Grief is often in the neck and the lungs. So if you have a lung problem, you probably have a problem with the emotion grief because emotions are always involved and um, we can treat and understand what's going on in the body by measuring these areas. And if this area is low in the back, in the, between your shoulder blades, that influences the heart, but it's probably also a reason, probably also influence of your emotion. So if your body is out of balance, your emotions are out of balance and vice versa.
So this is the guy. <clears throat> and, um, and this book I can really recommend, Healing is Voltage. Uh, and he taught me for the first time the principle that the electric charge, like in a battery, a battery has a charge. So if you have a small battery, let's say, and you have a plus and a minus, between it's a membrane. So the minus, the negative charge cannot hit the plus because you know, plus and minus always want to join forces. It's magnetic, right? So if you have a battery, plus and minus, and there's a membrane between, these two cannot join forces. Then you put the wire and the electrons start to move. The same thing happens in the cell, the cell membrane. So the cell membranes are round and we have a charge on the inside and outside. And without this charge, it cannot get in nutrition, cannot take in water, cannot take in oxygen, hydrogen, cannot take out the waste, and it cannot produce or actually recycle energy in ATP, in the mitochondria, the cell uh, kernel of the uh, cell. So the, the most important indicator, or let's, let's say the most uh, one, the most, let me see how I put it. The best indicator to understand your health and the function of the body is if you can understand what is the charge of the battery. And you can imagine very simply, if you don't have charge in your mobile phones, you won't call anywhere. And if there is a low charge in your cells, they can't communicate it to the body. This happens also with cancer. So this is one of the reasons why the immune system have problem of dealing with cancers because the cancer cells have a very low electric charge and can therefore not, and therefore doesn't communicate normally because you need charge, you need energy to communicate. Okay, so this is, uh, how do you say in English, uh, sorry, ballpark, ballpark figures. But it's relevant and it's more or less correct. And I will show you more details. So we always want to do something to the environment or our cells so the cells can have a normal charge. And one of those things we can do is of course use frequency and, and uh, PEMF and light therapies and so forth. Another thing is of course to have good water which can carry this charge. And another thing is you have to have the minerals because the minerals will split in water and are called ions, charged particles. I will show you more about this. So here up in the left corner, you see uh, uh, electrode on the inside and the outside of the cell membrane. So you see on the inside the cells are have the positive charge and the outside the plus charge, almost like a battery or it's like a battery. And then you see on the left, left bottom, you see something called volt uh, gated natrium channels, volt regulated channels. Well, the whole thing is that the regulation of what is going in and out of the cell is regulated by electric charge. So that's the overall system that's behind everything else. Biochemistry, hormones, everything comes after this. First, you need the electric charge and electric balance to work. And then you can see that um, uh, different cells have different charge. And this also defines how they can be a cell. And here comes something that, uh, that uh, explains a lot of things, if you understand. And there you see, for example, that <clears throat> cells with very low charge, uh, they are able to divide. So on the good size, this is very good when you're going to have a baby because you need the cells to divide and to make more. And when the cells have divided enough, the body increases the voltage, increases the charge of the cell. So it stays permanent like a neuron cell or muscle cell or fibroblast, stomach cell, etc. If the body is not capable of keeping normal charge in the cell, the cell function is disrupted. For example, <clears throat> the, a cell which has very low electric charge cannot get enough oxygen. If it doesn't get enough oxygen over time, the cell will die or it has to do something else to change the metabolism, to change the way it generates energy. Then it starts to ferment like wine. And that's called cancer. 
So if you can keep the cells healthy with correct charge, you cannot have cancer. And also there's a lot of other things you cannot have. So let's, <clears throat> let's see what happens if you have the correct charge. If you have the correct charge, the correct uh, energy in the cell, the pH, pH balance will be correct because pH means potential hydrogen. And that's just electric term for what is the charge of water, the water in your body. Remember, 99% of the molecules are water. So if the electric charge is correct in the cell, the charge in the water must be correct. If the electric charge is correct, you must have a correct mineral balance with magnesium, etc. <clears throat> and uh, if the charge is correct, it means you have water. And it means you can get rid of toxins. And it means you have enough uh, potential in the blood cells so they don't clump. Because if the red blood cells clump, they don't transport oxygen very well to the tissue. If they have set a potential, which is for the blood cells, they push from each other because they have the chain charge on the outside and they push and they can transport oxygen much better. And you have a natural energy production of the cell working like it should. If you have enough oxygen when you produce, <clears throat> when you have a, the ATP cycle, you produce 36 energy molecules. If you don't, you produce two. So it's six times, 16 times more energy. And the cells are capable of sending signals, receiving signals and communicating and growing in the normal fashion. So that's a synergy. So that's why I, I um, always say that we should know the voltage of the cell. And then we have thieves. This is the reason uh, people have uh, health issues. If you have a scar, let's say I have a, a scar here, a big scar. The electric current, which is uh, controlling the hand and needs to repair if there is a damage, will hit the scar and move to the side because the scar is blocking the current and maybe go this way. So it would be normal for me to have a issue here because the scar is blocking the electric current, the electric flow. <clears throat> and these scars, you can have, a lot of women have had operations to take out the babies. So after this, they have problems with the kidneys or digestive system or liver function. And that's because you kind of cut off or you may make a block of the, the circulation of the electric charge for these organs, which often is down to the legs for the, uh, yeah. Uh, also, scars can be emotional scars. So if you have a strong, bad trauma, and it's related to, let's say, let's say sexual uh, abuse, this will very often generate a uh, um, locked pattern in the kidney bladder area. So we have to resolve this, and that's also possible via electric, electromagnetic therapy, and conscious work. And then one very important thing that most people are not aware of is that if you have an infection in the jaw, like a root canal channel, this is an infection and will always be, no matter what the doctor says, because if you cut off the root blood supply and you cut off the nerve endings, what's inside the tooth will not have oxygen or energy and it will rot and it make very bad bacteria. And this alone can be enough to generate serious disease. And Dr. Jerry Tennant, which I told you about, he discovered that out of 100 patients, 150 patients, uh, women with, with the breast cancer, he discovered that 96% of them, all of them had an issue in the jaw, very often a root canal. And he thought, well, I must be crazy. So I have to check it with the oncologist, uh, cancer specialist. And he asked them to, to control the next 100 patients. And he came back and told me, it's incredible. I got 97% hit. So 97% of the women he investigated with breast cancer had infection or similar in the jaw on the same side as the breast. And one last thing about this, so you understand the importance of it for your health and your family. 
I had a woman coming to me for a year ago in my clinic. I meshed her, functional eval eval evaluated her, and found out that there was something with electric problem with the teeth. And I asked her, do you have a root canal? And I said, yeah. She said, I have two. I said, you've got to remove it, get rid of it, come back when you've done it. And uh, three months went and she came back. I forgot to tell you, she could not sleep properly. She had chronic pain in the shoulder, digestive issues. Three months later, she come back and just to give me a hug. And, and I said, why? You know, so, well, three days after I took out the root canal, my pain in the arm lost. Next week, I started sleeping well, and now my stomach is good. She came back six months later to say, thank you for saving me. And what did I do? I treated her one time. I gave her some supplements, and she removed the root canal. So that's very important. <clears throat> also, uh, what can influence uh, your energy production if you have a uh, stuck spine? You cannot move, and it's stuck. You should do more exercise, get outside, do your whatever, <clears throat> and get help to, to release this. Because there is a cranial secret pump, energy, uh, water going up and down, and your, actually your head is moving in and out and circulating your body. And when there is movement of charged particles like ions in the water, it makes energy. So you have to loosen up this to help you produce energy. This is the key electric potential for the cells. And of course you need the uh, building blocks, mineral, amino acids, fatty acids, so proper food. Uh, if you drink uh, too little water, nothing works. If you drink dirty or dead water, it works, but it works less good because imagine if you take water from the tap, it has normally chlorine and other chemicals in it. Uh, so they clean it for bacteria. That means the water has a positive charge. That means it's an oxidant, it's a stealer. It wants to take energy to become normal again. And you drink it and you have to give the water energy. So that's not good water. So you should have pure purified water. And if possible uh, with hydrogen gas because hydrogen gas is a very strong donor. It can give off a lot of electrons. So help your energy system. Air pollution, of course, is a big problem for people in cities, but you can buy small ion generators and air filters to put out negative ions. For example, some people, and many of you, they feel tired when it's raining outside, when it's low pressure. When it's low pressure, the clouds come down and they have what is the charge, positive charge. So that's why you feel it. So when it's high pressure and the sun is out, you feel more energized because there is more negative charge in the air. And stress. Of course, stress is maybe number one for most of us. And stress is the same. Doesn't matter where it comes from. If you cut off your arm and you have pain, that's stress. If you have emotional stress because you are hurt, wounded, or you're afraid, that's stress. If you have too much work, you're stressed. <clears throat> Doesn't matter what is the cause. For the body, it's the same thing. It means the digestive system will stop. Your kidney system will not detox. Your liver will not detox. And if you don't detox, you don't get away with the plus, with the oxidants, stealing your energy. And that's why one of the reasons uh, the program in Deep Cycle, Kidney All, is a must for everybody. <clears throat> because everybody, <clears throat> more or less, has too much stress in their life. And then you have to support the organs which are uh, having getting into trouble because of this. So if you can, the most simple way to remove stress or to decrease stress is they knew it for 10,000 years in the yoga tradition. It's deep breathing through the nose, holding it, breathing out, do it 10 times, lay down, feel how you feel. If you were stressed before, I promise you, this breathing will tell your body everything's okay. So <clears throat> if you're having a panic attack or something, do the breathing. Uh, it cannot last more than 20 minutes. So that's a way to remove stress. Toxins, of course, all types, we try to avoid toxins. That means ultra-processed food, uh, uh, food that comes from, let's say, cattle that eat um, 
that eat, uh, yeah, animals that eat junk food are not good with hormones and medicines and forth, so forth. So, and that goes for plants too. So, and of course we have the man-made radiation. That's wireless and all that. If you have it all the time, if you have a wireless router at home, most people have it. There are ways to protect yourself. You can use some things to, to amplify and make a beneficial field. But the most simple thing you can do is to turn it off. And especially when you sleep at night, you buy yourself a timer, maybe it costs you $10, and you put it in the outlet for the Wi-Fi router. So it turns off when you sleep. So you don't bombard yourself with unnecessary, stressful, oxidative generating uh, <clears throat> frequencies. So uh, when, when I move my muscles, I squeeze crystals. We call them collagen tissue. It's kind of liquid crystals. And these liquid crystals are so-called piezoelectric, very fancy word, but when you squeeze it, it makes energy. This is the same reason when you do acupuncture and you put the needle into acupuncture point and, and turn it around, you squeeze these crystals and make a small current. And some people can feel the current going up like this. I felt it many times. So to produce energy for a body, you need to move your muscles. You cannot sit still all day like we do now. You have to take time. If you sit still more than 40 minutes, it starts to influence your blood pressure, your hormones, etc. So more than every once an hour, you have to stand up, do something, breathe, and so on. Uh, and of course, <clears throat> the lack of contact with nature. So when you go out in the summer, and if you noticed, most people are born nine months away from the summer period. Why is that? Yes, because when we're outside, we're getting negative ions, we're getting fresh air, oxygenized air, we're getting the sunlight and all the beneficial frequencies, and we're barefoot in contact with the ground, and often we go in the water. So this is natural therapy at its best, and it makes us all feel better. So I'm always, my best shape is always in Norway because we have a short summer, it's July, September. That's when then I feel the best. And that's normally when the people in this period, not before or a little after, make it children because we're full of energy. And so don't forget to use nature. Okay, so <clears throat> we're soon finished with this first part. So this good idea to remember the, the, um, the key points. So the electric potential, that means the charge is needed to build and repair cells because Every second, thousands of cells dies and thousands of cells are made in your body. If you have the right energy and the right building blocks, you make them. So it means your organs are healthy. And when the voltage is correct, you can, your cells can communicate, we can communicate, and the system works. When the cellular voltage is correct, you're healthy if all of them are healthy. So you can say, oh, I, I have a good voltage, but I have a pain in the shoulder. I can tell you if you have pain in the shoulder, the voltage is low there, for sure. We can measure it. I measured it a thousand times. So thank you uh, for this first part. Thank you very much, Yang. Thank you, take a sip of water. Um, you have really summarized the topics of electromagnetism and frequency for us. Not only that, but you also provided us with practical tips on how to uh, support ourselves and some practical tips to calm our stress. Thank you so much. And uh, our second part of today's uh, webinar, everybody's waiting for, is take a deep dive into the deep psychoharmonics programs. And uh, we invite Yang to come back and uh, share with us your secrets. You'll be highlighting some major difference between the original deep cycle and the deep cycle harmonics programs. What is the difference? Okay, uh, right. So as you said that, uh, it was not uh, in my slide. So I'll answer this one first. Basically, uh, yeah, there, there is something about it. So uh, we'll get to it. But basically to rest assured for everybody with the original deep cycle, there are still very good programs and the good programs that don't stop being good because there is a new program coming. So the original deep cycle is an excellent program and, uh, I, uh, and I'm lucky to have made it because very often I meet therapists around the world 
who use deep cycle in the daily practice with the big timer machines. And they thank me for this. So I'm happy to do this. Uh, <clears throat> the, the, the deep cycle harmonics is a further development and includes specific frequency lists I accumulated over many years. And it's a little bit more uh, comprehensive, a little bit more precise, and there's a little bit change in how we do it. <clears throat> and I will explain it to you. So as you see, there is a reason for calling it deep cycle and cycle, because everything goes in cycles, that's nature. So it's a good thing to be able to support the body's process in the cycle or the part, the phase we're in. And this goes for the day. You wake up in the morning, you start producing more testosterone, you start producing more cortisol and your heart rate increases and so on to make you ready for the day. <clears throat> And, uh, and this changes through the day, of course. And different organs are more active in a different part of the day. And the Chinese philosophy uh, knew this for centuries. Uh, and it's a scientific fact, this is correct as well. And uh, the cycles are even present in the stars in the universe. So you see from, this is what we hol call holographic. The small part represents the whole because every little part of our existence has this cycle. So the only thing is for sure that there will be change. We will move through cycles and periods and it's only natural that we die. So don't be afraid to die because that's part of the cycle of nature. Don't be afraid to be old because that's a good period. You can be more wise and do other things. So all of these cycles have beautiful features and possibilities. We should investigate them and try to support them as best as possible. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and uh, we mentioned about uh, the menstrual cycle and that's maybe a little bit uh, for females. If you have very strong bleedings during menstruation, you should probably not run the frequencies just then. At least very low current, very low intensity, in the hands. Don't connect it to the feet, don't correct, connect it to the stomach, simply because it will increase the blood circulation. In some very, very, very few cases, uh, increased blood circulation is not a good thing, especially if you have a bleeding problem. But besides this, there is no reason not to do it and you can support it. So typically <clears throat> some uh, women, they don't feel too well about the week before the menstruation. Well, this would be a good period to run the program Pure Calm, just to help you relax, help, just to help to balance your, your uh, hormones. And, uh, and the same thing is with, uh, I don't know if you have uh, had a feeling that you feel especially alert in the full moon. So when you're especially alert in the full moon, it's good time for activity. So maybe you wanna run programs that supports this. So, sorry, Jan, sorry, Jan. Um, is your slides moving? Because we're still stuck on the first page. Okay, I'm moving the slides, but I don't know why it's not moving. Um, maybe I should stop share and try again. Sorry sure. for this. Let's try again. Okay. Do you see the new slide now? Yes, I see the, uh, the, circ the cycles. Yeah. Cardiac cycle. Okay. And now you see the, the voltage. Next slide? Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Good. Uh, yeah. So <clears throat> we talked about this already. Um, and um, the, the key here is to understand how we can support this fact. Correct voltage is needed for the body to repair and build cells. And we made 12 programs to support your cycles. And why do I use the word deep? Well, actually the programs go very deep. It affects a lot of levels of your being. I'm not supposed to use too many uh, practical words or medical words, but let's say, since you understand your emotions are electromagnetic, we touch them. And we touch the organ systems related to them 
And um, we, so you can say we work on the holistic cost level. We just, the deep cycle programs, it's not programmed for symptoms. People are occupied with symptoms, but we are occupied with the holistic whole, trying to generate the balance and supporting the whole system on all levels via the electromagnetic waves. Yeah, the deep cycle history. <laughs> well, uh, the thing is that before uh, early, late 1800, people started experimenting with electromagnetic devices. And there were some brilliant people, <clears throat> including Tesla um, and Dr. Royal Riot, who found a universal microscope, who used frequencies in different ways to treat people, and they had great success. And uh, the, the Dr. Royal Reif, his frequencies does uh, exist in the lower harmonics, and I'll explain the harmonics, uh, in Healy database. So at least we think so, because he was dead before we, knew, before we were able to ask him, but what is found from his research, uh, the, the, <clears throat> his frequencies are to some extent known and we can use the harmonics of the high frequencies because he used extremely high frequencies uh, in his work. He also had, a, he, he, was, uh, he found the first microscope in the world, universal microscope, that was able to see cells live and see what was going on in the cells without destroying them. So when he was putting out his frequencies from his plasma tube, he could see what happened to them. And actually every professor in medicine in the world wanted to be his friend. And until the day in early 30s, 1930s, where the pharmaceutical industry or actually the oil industry, Rockefeller Group and all these guys, they found out that medicine should be uh, something they made out of oil and they should make a lot of money on it. And that, so that's a long story. But anyway, uh, the pharmaceutical paradigm was then established as the only legal medicine. A lot of these therapies were forgotten and now they're coming back in big time and you are one of them using it in healing. Uh, we also have this guy called Lakowski to the left-hand corner, and he made uh, his uh, big coils that sent out a bunch of frequencies, and he found out that if he sent out a bunch of frequencies, some of them would resonate with the body and transfer energy. So he was uh, charging the energy uh, of the body. And you see uh, above my name, a picture of Nuno, if you know him, Nuno Nina, and I mention him because in my journey, in my search to understand how things were connected, I discovered when I was in the 40s, I'm 62 now, that electromagnetism and electricity governed our reality. It was the best way to understand our body and our nature around us. And I was in a webinar, no, a seminar, not a webinar, seminar in Holland in 2008, I remember. And there came up this guy, called Nino and he was talking about that he was also working with some frequencies and he had experience with it. And I really immediately felt that, wow, this is my guy, you know, we are, he is talking about the things which have been in my mind forever. And um, so making a long story short, I met, I met him in the, in the um, corridor after a lecture uh, and he was looking down at me and looking at my liver. And I said, yeah, I have some pain there. <laughs> and I thought, wow, he's kind of intuitive guy. So he learned to use intuition, like I'm trying to learn you now with a little test, remember? Uh, and, um, and, uh, and then uh, at the later stage, I was coming up to him and we were talking and he said, before I was finishing my words, he said, yes, of course I will help you. And he helped me to establish uh, my clinic uh, in Oslo. And uh, during the years we become friends and we exchange a lot of information and, and I learned a lot about uh, frequencies and the way he was treating from him, which I could integrate in my therapies and the way I work. So, <clears throat> so that's why I think it's an important part of the history of Deep Cycle is to mention you know, my dear friend. <clears throat> deep Cycle Harmonics, yeah. So uh, we know about uh, a lot of frequencies which has been tested and scientifically proven and gathered through the years. And since I'm a nerd for electromagnetic waves and frequencies, I read tons of research, I promise you. 
And this accumulated a list of frequencies, <clears throat> which, which is, has very interesting effects and is, let's say, connecting us to nature, connecting us um, to the surroundings and harmonizing our internal body. So my idea with uh, <clears throat> the deep cycle harmonics, the new version, was I wanted to include this type of frequencies for everybody because everybody needs food, everybody needs water. Let's say everybody needs these type of frequencies to be in harmony and connect with themselves and the surroundings. And when I say harmonics, it's very simple. As you can see in the picture, there is, uh, <clears throat> if you take uh, a tone, ba, 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 that's octaves, that's harmonics. It's the same basic, but at different frequency, you understand? So this is a way of delivering the information in similar ways. So there are harmonics or frequencies that are outside of the spectrum of the Healy because Healy works from zero Hertz to 1 million Hertz, zero vibrations per second to 1 million vibrations per second. So if I found a very interesting frequency in nine gigahertz, I would need to put it down in a harmonics which exists within Healy. So that's, maybe you have a question about it, you can answer about it, that's okay. Okay, so um, yeah, the deep cycle harmonics was um, primarily developed in 2021. Uh, the deep cycle one was uh, developed or released seven years before and was, uh, <clears throat> was a result of my experience with the uh, timer frequency therapist, which is the big, the big brother of Healy, um, for uh, five years. And, uh, and um, I found out that the way to treat and the way to do it, um, in, also in uh, uh, very similar to how Nuno was doing it, we, we talked a lot and worked together, was not so easy to learn for a therapist. So I wanted to make programs that imitated the way we worked in the clinic. So when you run deep cycle on your Healy, you're actually running a program that is very similar to what I would do in the clinic if I was treating a specific organ system, electric system. Um, and yeah, it's also worth... Uh, Remind, um, saying that uh, I pushed the Healy to its limits. So the program challenges Healy to what it really can do and cannot do. And one, one feature which is in there makes the Healy go banana because I wanted to make a random, completely random choice in for a small time because you are all influencing the Healy you're all influencing the frequency. You have to understand this because you emit frequency all the time. So <clears throat> if, if uh, I, I hold this here to me and I emit the frequency, if you have a meter and you measure and look at the wave, you would see that this thing here influences it. So let's say you have the Healy here and you are focused on the Healy and you are in a special mood, you will influence the results of the Healy and you will influence the frequency of the healing. That's just a fact. And uh, that's why some therapists using this type of technology have more success than others. Because some people think of just hit the button and run some frequencies and that's it. But if the therapist has an intention to heal, to help, and is focused on the job, the frequencies are a little bit modulated, a little bit different and more effective. So when you treat yourself, don't put the electrodes on your back, Healy in your pocket, and then go about doing your stressful life and thinking it's going to work very well. It may be work a little bit. Of course, it works a little bit, but it works a lot better if you say to yourself, I'm going to give myself a treat. I'm going to treat me. I'm going to do something good. If you run the program Kidney All, male or female, you say, I want to treat my kidneys and my emotions in the kidneys, and I'm giving myself a break. And if you do that, the, in, the effects of the treatment will be greatly increased. That's just uh, a fact and uh, many people are not aware of it. Okay, so we have uh, about 12 programs. And, uh, <clears throat> and the, the program sensitive, I think it's worthwhile mentioning because many people 
they have been asking me where is program number one, two, and three from Deep Cycle One. So I don't see the need anymore for program one, two, and three because the sensitive has been constructed this way that it fits for everybody. And the sensitive <clears throat> uh, also takes away the feeling some people have that you cannot start with a deep cycle because it's too powerful. You have to start with gold cycle because it's a little bit less comprehensive. I never said this. <laughs> so many people tell people that I say this and that, but that's not true. I never said that. Of course, you can start with deep cycle. That's no problem. Gold cycle is also fine. But, uh, <clears throat> but if you are a sensitive person, you're not sure how you're going to react. It's the first treatments or you have some allergies uh, or you have a very bad day. Run sensitive because sensitive is sensitive. It's going to help you get adjusted to the frequencies. And also it's good if you have a chemical sensitivity, electro sensitivity, allergy, and similar. And also it's a good thing to run sensitive once in a while when you feel sensitive. That's, that's, that's the thing with sensitive. <laughs> okay, so we're into kidney oil. And um, of course, uh, you have to understand that I'm not going to talk about diagnosis or things like this, but the kidneys are connected with the rest of the body. And from the meridian system, the channels through the body, which has been discussed for years, but is now a scientific fact, there are channels in the body, they conduct electricity, and, and many of them are very close to the original Chinese meridians. So the kidneys are an electric system connected down to your feet and up in the body, moving through the front teeth. So if you have a problem with the front teeth, you steal energy from your kidneys. But any issue with anxiety, fear, stress, and uh, any challenges in the area of the kidneys, the uterus, the prostate, the bladder, you know, sexuality, it's a good thing to run the kidneys. Another thing with the kidney, it's uh, one part of the, the, the important pH buffer system of the body. So the body needs to find a balance in the pH, in the acid and the alkaline balance. This is done primarily between the kidneys and the lungs. You have two kidneys and you have two lungs. And you can imagine why, because they are totally critical for your body. So if your lungs and kidneys are doing a good job and you're having enough good water, they will take out the toxins, release the acids, and leave you with a good potential and correct pH balance, thus a good electric potential of the cells. Clean oil lies in the name. Uh, now it's called, yeah, it's still called clean oil. Um, if you, uh, most of us need clean oil from time to time. And especially as a part of a cycle in the beginning, when you're getting used to it, you need to get into clean oil because it supports all the detoxification organs. And if you can get rid of the toxins, the plus, the oxidative, you are left with surplus of energy and you're feeling well and the cell can work at the optimal level. So clean oil is comes after normally a kidney oil, breath of life, a period, clean oil. And for very many people, digest oil will be in a part of a cycle and I'll explain more later. So here we come with the digest all. Digest all includes digesting, accepting your emotions and your worries. Because these emotions and worries are often stuck in your stomach area. And I have a son, he's 22 years old now, so he's not the same anymore, but I remember very well when he was small. Every time he was excited to do something, he got the diarrhea. <laughs> and, um, and if he was very um, happy, he got a diarrhea. If he was very sad, he got a diarrhea. Because the emotions in, are so influencing your digestive system. And, and the, most of us, we have a problem to find good food, which are not processed, ultra-processed, and contains normal bacteria, and is clean. And because of stress, we often don't digest the food. Because remember, when your body is in stress, 
the energy goes to the muscles, the heart and the brain to fight an animal or to fight some scary thing. Maybe it's not the realistic thing, but that's what the body thinks. So this is one of the reasons we need to support the digestive system. And of course, we need to break down the nutrition that comes into the digestive system so the body can use it to build and regenerate new cells. Breath of life is the other way, remember the other part of the pH buffer system of the body that pulls out acids and carbon dioxide. So breathing out <coughs> helps regulate the pH of the body. So if you breathe very fast, you will make the body alkaline. If you breathe very slow, you will <coughs> produce more carbon dioxide. But again, this will make the cell, the blood vessels expand. So an interesting tip I learned from Russian researchers is that if you think you're gonna have a cardiac arrest or heart attack, infarct, you know what you can do? Keep your breath. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Till your head blows, breathe out. Because what happens? You change the pH of the blood, you expand the blood vessels and the blood cells will take in the oxygen and distribute it out. And you will have much more oxygen in the heart tissue and the body in no time. This they knew very well in yoga practice. It's called yoga breathing. But you can use it. And it also helps with stress. So Breath of Life is uh, one of the key programs which everybody needs, especially in the beginning of therapy. Free flow, uh, it helps you uh, circulate liquids, help uh, stimulate the circulation of the body. Also helps uh, stimulate the circulation of electricity. And <clears throat> it's very good also for pain because like I told you, if you have pain in the shoulder, there's something, if you don't have a serious injury, if of course, if somebody cuts off your arm, you do have pain, but, but if you have just pain in your shoulder and you don't know where it's coming from, uh, it means the, the cells in the shoulders have too little electric potential. One of the reasons you have low potential is because you don't get the nutrition oxygen. So if you can increase the flow and energy into them, the electric potential will increase and the pain will go away. So therefore, free flow can be very good for, for any condition with circulation issues and of course with pain. Pure Calm is a program we all need from time to time and it's specifically effective when you are already okay. So people think, again, like uh, symptomatic. So I'm very stressed, I must run Pure Calm. Well, <laughs> The thing is to try to help you not to become very stressed. So you run pure calm to stay calm. Because you're very stressed, you maybe need to support your kidneys and detoxification system and digestive system. Uh, so it works okay, even if you're stressed, you see? This is a way of thinking. So pure calm is something you can use regularly to keep your calm. You can of course run it if you're stressed as well, but the best thing is to help you not become stressed so easily. Pure Calm will help you with that. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> and Pure Calm also influences, of course, the uh, hormone systems which are related to stress. Here is a Pure Energy. Pure Energy <clears throat> is a program to help to uh, regulate and increase the energy production of body. Uh, so it touches upon many fields of the <clears throat> body. It increases, it helps you relax because it's necessary to generate energy. It will support your uh, adrenal system uh, because you need adrenal hormones to have energy and so forth. So it's, it's not much to say about it. Besides also, again, a good thing to use it uh, regularly. You don't need to wait to be fatigued. You can use it when you feel good to keep producing enough energy. Renewal <clears throat> originally was called natural healing. Uh, natural healing. <clears throat> because uh, this is, um, uh, I don't think the name was, too, was uh, legally too good because it's indicated that it can heal something and we're not supposed to heal anything. But anyway, renewal helps the body to regenerate, build new cells, and we, we choose a lot of frequencies <clears throat> that um, 
that are um, uh, specifically to regenerate, regenerate and repair tissue. It also has a lot of frequencies to support natural bacterial and viral balance. And it also has some new special uh, specific frequency lists for deep cycle harmonics, which <clears throat> is helping you balance any uh, um, pathogens in the body. Yeah, and the good thing about, um, uh, as you see, the, the, the microbiome, the bacteria of your body are everywhere. And to regulate them and balance them is important. And many people are not aware of this, but 90% of the cells in your body is not yours. Your cells are more heavy, but most of our cells are bacteria, virus, and so forth. Actually, most of our DNA comes from virus. So the way we are upgraded in nature is from getting virus because virus gives us new information and then we adjust to the surroundings. So not having a virus is not a good idea. We need to have a virus, we need bacteria, we need to be natu have getting natural bacteria and natural virus. Renewal helps you <clears throat> balance this. And then <clears throat> go to the roots. Telling earlier called healing of causes for those who remember the name. And here we are talking about the root causes. And this program is specifically good to run in periods where you have finished a physical cycle supporting your detoxification organs, the kidneys and so forth. And you basically feel well. Then you can support to gain and continue to gain good emotional balance. Because as I told you, your emotions are in the body. The emotions are in the organs or emotions are stored everywhere. So root causes and <clears throat> go to the roots is a way of supporting the foundation of your way of being, the foundations of your existence. It doesn't do anything you don't want. It cannot change your personality. It will just help you balance and feel more comfortable in your body. And uh, <clears throat> because there are so many people now having chronic fatigue, I made the program Energy Work. It lasts for a couple of hours. It can last copper, uh, shorter on some because the frequencies, when they run, every 10 seconds, they ask, do this person need this frequency more? Sometimes it goes faster. It's a good sign. And generally, people ask me, oh, I had this program. It said it was going to last for an hour. It stopped after 40 minutes. My experience is that if the program is finished very early, it's because you don't probably need this program that much and or you are in improving, at least on the electromagnetic level. And normally after improving electromagnetically, you can feel it on the chemical and physical level later. Well, energy work is for people who need to charge and they run long programs. Most people, <clears throat> they can do good with one program a day or every second day. Uh, some people with chronic fatigue syndrome, after they are adjusted to using the Healy or timer, they experience that the, the more they run the program, the better they feel. So I know one very, person very well, and she wears the device in the purse, and she puts electrodes top and bottom of her spine, and she runs the energy work, and she waits an hour, she runs the energy work, and she does it all day. She does it a couple of days, her energy is clearly higher and she has a less pain, feels better, uh, so on. So energy work is a charging machine for those of you who have used frequency quite a lot, not for the first time. That is too much. Thank you. And I think we're ready for questions. Thank you so much, Yang, for covering in details all this deep psychoharmonics programs. Let me just uh, look at some. We have collected some questions before the webinar, but also Stella is also collecting uh, uh, webinars for uh, yeah. from our Well, uh, we can do the collected questions, and then okay. it would be a little bit fun if we could uh, take a few yes-no questions and people can see how is their intuition working. Yes. Okay. So the first question I have for you is, is the deep psychoharmonics programs, all 12 programs have been updated compared to the previous one? 
Yes, and also, you know, the frequency databases of uh, timer frequency has also been updated during the years and corrected and so on. So that's correct. So the deep psychoharmonics program, all programs are updated and you can say that it's a new program. Yes, yes, yes. They are made from scratch on the same principles. Uh, and um, But uh, on the original, uh, let's say, spirit of the, the thinking of behind the programs are the same. So, so digest all from the first program, digest all now will all uh, will su both support uh, similar systems, but um, let's say the new is more comprehensive and more precise and has the additional frequencies. Okay. And uh, one interesting question is about the frequencies that you compile to for these programs. Are they coming from RIVE frequency database or are they from maybe Neuronina or other frequencies that you have collected? I don't know. You if mean that's, the general frequencies? Uh, yeah, for that the you program. use in your programs. Are they? Is there I a use, source? I use, I use uh, in the deep cycle programs. I um, I use um, uh, we search both rise, uh, rife and you know gold frequencies and other frequencies. So and other frequencies. So that's uh, so. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So before I ask you about how to uh, run these programs, I would like to go into more details about each, a few of these programs, especially the energy work and the pure energy. Uh, you have explained a little bit about these two programs already, but uh, for most people, when they first see the names, they're a little bit confused about which one to use, energy work or, or pure energy. And you have mentioned that energy work is not for people that is new to frequency therapy. So uh, would you elaborate more regarding when to use pure energy or when to use energy work? Yeah, <clears throat> pure energy is uh, uh, shorter. It's not that comprehensive. And, uh, and uh, of course, uh, uh, this means that uh, the impact of the body, the stimulus to the body is, uh, is less. Uh, so this is, uh, if you are looking for increased uh, energy after you've done the basics, because uh, you do have to do the basics to get good results with the other programs. Uh, you you can try the pure energy, and uh, and uh, if you you find out that uh, if you have a person if you are a person with often has fatigue, often chronic fatigue, people with tendency of chronic fatigue, uh, and you feel you know if I run pure energy two times a day, or uh, that's that's I feel good. <clears throat> well, then you can start doing the energy work, and uh, you can because it runs longer. You don't have to turn on and off and and so forth. Mm -hmm. So. It, Basically, a little bit same, but but uh, just a uh, little bit more powerful and lasting longer. So the energy work is more powerful, and the in our user manual it suggests that we should use it in the morning. Do is there a fixed rules that we cannot use it in the evening? Does it keep us awake or? No, well, <laughs> you know me and fixed rules. I don't <laughs> like them um, because uh, you know the reality is that. Uh, what we want to achieve really is to, to help people to understand themselves and know themselves and experience how they are. But, uh, but some people uh, are more awake uh, after uh, running the program uh, and therefore maybe should not do it just before bed. Mm -hmm. But, but, uh, but uh, you know, that's people who really cannot sleep unless they are kind of hammered, you know? So, so, but, and, uh, so yeah, so in the morning or in it doesn't really matter, but but uh, but uh, generally I would do it during the day as a charger. As a charge, okay. And the next question is regarding uh, clean all and digest all. Um, for you have mentioned that in order to to keep a, a proper environment in our body for our cells to have healthy cells, we need to detox. We need to keep our uh, waste products uh, out, outside of our body. So would you be using the clean all programs to support the detox system? And does the clean all program would be able to help with, let's say, some um, toxic buildup or at some parasites or anything like that regarding fungus or yeah, yes and no. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to the, the, the let's say the microflora, uh, I would use the uh, renewal. Renewal. Uh, because renewal helps uh, balance the microflora and um, uh, possible pathogens and so forth. So um, well, this is for it. Uh, the bacteria, uh, when the body tries to eliminate them, if there is pathogenic bacteria, you shouldn't have. They excrete toxins 
to defend themselves. Just as if you eat nuts and berry, uh, nuts and uh, and uh, seeds from plants, and you don't uh, treat them, ferment them, or so on, they contain toxins. So, <clears throat> and that's the same with the bacteria and so on. If they, if you, they think they have to defend themselves, they make toxins. The toxins coming out, we will help to remove by stimulating the liver and the other detoxification systems. Which is the clean all program. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, when, when people come to my clinic and they want to, to tell me what program to run, I often make a four, three, two, one cycle. Three, two, one. <laughs> and I, I will explain this a little bit. Later, okay. So when we talk about the, the toxic body or talking about the, let's say, the negative reactions, we have possible reaction that we may have from using the programs let's say the healing crisis, because sometimes our body goes through cycles, like through the healing process, you, you might feel that your body is not, is going downhill instead of going uphill. So when that happens, we revert back to the sensitive program. Do you suggest that? Correct. Okay. So the sensitive program is, is new for the deep cycle harmonics, and it replaces first application, second application, and the third application. Yeah, it replaces it, but it's not the same. But, uh, the same. but, but uh, it is sensitive, so it means that you can run it. And, and uh, also, I mean, this is about the general rules. If you have, have the period of intensive use of the device, give yourself a couple of days off. So in general, for people who have uh, health problems, if they use uh, the device to support their, their health, um, I always say to them, you know, take the weekend off, take the Sunday off. Because there's something about not just being focused on treatments and things. And the other thing is that the body gets the stimuli. So if I exercise, I need to relax and let the body rebuild muscles. A little bit, a little bit like this with the programs. Uh, you should let the programs work and let the body adjust. And uh, I measured many times in the clinic, if I make a very short treatment, let's say uh, 20 minutes, and I measure before and after, we can show this in a future webinar, uh, the, the balance of the body is greatly increased. If I do one hour with my intention and my specific frequencies and measure them directly after, it looks chaotic. But if I me measure them next morning, it looks wonderful. So this is just a hint to understand that more is, doesn't mean better. But for some people who have specific problems like chronic fatigue and are used to the frequencies, the experience is that very low voltage, and we should talk more about this in a future session about practical thing, low intensity, long programs helps them regain the energy and they feel better. And so it's a big difference, for example, treating with uh, uh, high intensity, so you feel it a lot, and treating very low intensity. And it's different where you place the electrodes if you put it on the body. So this will cover a lot of that. So the sensitive program, it also mentioned that uh, for people that are sensitive to electro smog or yes. the man-made electromagnetic fields, it's suitable for them to run the sensitive program as well. Absolutely. And, and if people are electrosensitive and afraid that they will react to getting a treatment, some people do. Uh, the first program they should run is sensitive, of course. And mm -hmm. uh, wait till next day, see how they feel. Nothing happens. Okay run it again, nothing happens, okay. Run, start on the kidneys, uh, normally. Uh, and uh, of course, if you are sensitive or if you're afraid there is a lot of toxins in the body, make sure you're well hydrated. So in my clinic, when they come to me, the first thing I do, I give them purified water with hydrogen and they drink. And uh, the first thing I do after treatments, I give them purified water, hydrogen, and sometimes I give them a bunch of the vitamin C and other antioxidants to ensure that they don't get a bad experience. How was the percentage you think you say that you would say that the, the clients that come to your clinic are dehydrated? Um, most people, not? well, most people are, it's, most people are um, having an incorrect uh, balance of water inside, outside. So we have a way of measuring uh, bio-intestinal scan, we call it, 
we can measure the balance between the intracellular, extracellular water. So a lot of people are dehydrated because they drink uh, all kinds of uh, coffee and uh, Caffeines, sodas yeah. and things, and they don't drink enough clean water. And if you just think about this uh, thing, if you're going to wash your car, would you wash your car with Coca-Cola? No, you would wash your car with clean water. And people, you cannot wash your body, body with Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. So, so um, but uh, yes, a lot of people are dehydrated, um, but uh, some people drink enough, but they don't have the energy to produce structured water, metabolic water properly. And that means that the water is most, mostly, mostly outside the cell, not inside the cell. So by increasing the energy and supplying necessary minerals and salts and so on, you can get the water into the cell. And so you can have enough water, but not enough water inside the cell. Mm -hmm. But many, many are dehydrated. Yeah, thank you. So I'm not sure if you are aware that for the previous deep cycle programs, there is a 33 days plan that has been circulating around for almost like two years. Are you aware of the such plans to use the programs? suggestions like a 33 days plan nope nope so it's probably not created by you not as, no. I, not as I remember <laughs> no okay so for the deep cycle harmonics is there any suggestive way that you have for us to run these programs like for yeah. example the circle that you showed us before in your slides you start with the sensitive you start with the kidney is there like a similar protocol? Well, 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 well right. I'm not, don't, this circle was just to kind of list all the programs. So uh, it's just not the, the, the way you should do it or not should do it. So let's let's say you have to, the first thing that's important is people have to start trusting how they feel. You know, you have to trust how you feel. Let's, let's say you are a person that um, are... Uh, Having issues uh, in uh, the bladder, kidney, uh, sexual organs, or something, or you go to the, you have to go and pee very, very often. Okay, so it's an indication that your kidneys are are struggling. Then, then the priority would probably be to start with the kidneys. Um, <clears throat> but uh, but if your kidneys are struggling, it means your lungs will have to do more job. So you need to support it, right? But if your kidneys and lungs are struggling, it means your detoxification system uh, needs support, so clean all. If there is, if you have something with your digestive system and you have a tendency of being stressed a lot, you will need digest all. So these four programs, kidney all, breath of life, Clean all, digest all. Normally, uh, is the basic foundation cycle, and that's why I said four, three, two, one. So let's say, let's say you are a kidney person, because I used to call people kidney person or lung person. So let's say you're a kidney person. That's often a person who is uh, easily stressed, who sometimes has uh, or have some had some issues with sexuality or any issues uh, that's related below the kidneys. You know, everything is connected to the kidneys. Uh, they would typically start, the most important thing is to get the kidneys up. Drink the water, get the minerals, and you run kidney programs, let's say four times. Don't mean four times in one day. So it could be, for some people, they do one program each day. So let's say you do four days with kidney, kidney oil, and then you need to support the organ, which probably needs help too, is the lungs. So you do three times the lungs, three days, or if you run two in the program, you do yeah, two, two each one day and the next one day. But let's say you do one each day. And then depending on your, uh, depending on your uh, digestive system and status, uh, if, the, if there's something with digestive system and you are not all regular and so on, you should then do the digest all. That would be two times. And then the last clean all. So we have four, three, two, one. So that would be the configuration for a kidney person. Mm -hmm. you see? If, the, if you have clear things with the lungs, um, if there is allergies, of course you do, you implement the sensitive. 
So then you build up the protocol, for example, starting with the sensitive a few times just to, to elevate the symptoms and just calm down the body. And then you start with the breath of life four times, kidney oil three times, digestive system, good or bad, if it's bad, digest it two times, clean all. If there's no big issue with the digestion, two times clean all, then one time digest all. And then you go back again. And remember, have some time off in the weekends because you need to relax, focus on different things, go out in nature and get the natural practice. In touch of nature, let the nature heal you as well. Yeah, because that's what we want to do. The only thing we want to, to do with the frequencies or anything we do is to help nature work at its best. So yes. we want to support the body. Think about the fact about all the technology you look around, anything you know in the world. You can think it's very advanced that we're talking here, but think about the child being developed and born. It's the most fantastic, wonderful, amazing, complex thing we know. So nature knows everything. We just need to support it. Mm -hmm. So it is okay to run more than one program a day? Yes. Uh, you can do that, and, uh, but that's not how you start. Mm -hmm. uh, and some people, if they have, if they had a lot of toxins and they really start to release things, maybe they need do one program, two days rest, one program, two days rest, like this. Yeah, so you have to really observe your body to see what's going on and what's the reaction. Yeah, the good thing after you run the first program, the next day you wake up, you look yourself in the mirror and say, how am I today? How do I feel? Do I feel anything change? And people, they expect to feel a change in the arm because they treated the pain or something. But think about it. How do I feel holistically? Because the, the, the miracle, well, I shouldn't use the word miracle, but the amazing thing is that uh, it works on all of you. So sometimes people, I remember a woman who was very, very sick serious uh, disease, uh, and uh, we treated her for her wellness, of course, uh, in the clinic. And she told me after a few months, and she came back to me and said, you know what's the most clear experience I have from your therapist? And I said, no. And she said, I'm not afraid anymore. So, she, so her emotions changed, and the body then is much easier could cope with the challenge because then she was not that stressed. And then she had a positive development. So, so frequencies are a part of us. We are frequency, we are vibration. So when you work on this level, you should observe all of you. Mm -hmm. And to recap, uh, from a holistic point of view, when we run these programs, we don't like to have a fixed protocols for everyone to use because every individual is very different. So we suggest, just like Jan just has suggested, you can run the four, three, two, one, like the protocols, depending on your condition and how your body is reacting and continuously to observe yourself. But also not just run the program, but you should be combining the frequencies, the programs as well with a healthy lifestyle, a good diet, good nutrition, and being active in your lifestyle. Try to be outdoor to connect with nature as much as possible. Is that right? Absolutely. Okay. And uh, you can add that, uh, think of it as you give yourself a treat. You give yourself a treatment and the treatment includes you giving yourself time to relax. I remember, I remember uh, 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 one of the things I learned from Nuno um, some years ago, and I was, had been working uh, 24 hours a day for a week and I was traveling in another country and doing consulting work, working with an incredible team. But when I came home, uh, I was so fatigued, so tired, my whole body kind of totally out of balance and uh, the kidneys were banana. So I had to go to the toilet every five minutes. So, uh, so it's impossible to sleep. And I said to him, what am I going to do? What frequencies to run? Do you have any advice, my friend? You know, because, you know, sometimes everybody needs advice. And you know what he said? He said, yeah. do nothing. <laughs> do nothing. What do you mean, said, do nothing? I can watch TV and read a book and say, no, no, no. Do nothing. You mean do nothing? Yeah, do nothing. And that was a trick <clears throat> because if you do nothing, and some people call it meditation, oh, if you yes. do nothing for a period of time, 
your mind and your body will automatically start to adjust and balance and find space to do it. So if you want to have an effective treatment, give yourself, lay down on the sofa, turn off the Wi-Fi, shut off the mobile after you start it, make, get some peace and treat yourself. And say to yourself, now I'm treating me, now I'm supporting my kidneys with kidney oil. And the effect will, you will see it, it's marvelous. You will tell us about miracles because you are a miracle and you can do anything. This will only support you. Perfect. Um, I'm just reading about the questions that I received now. Uh, we have five more minutes to answer. Do we have a couple questions? of uh, yes, no questions because it would be on a good point. Um, if there's somebody having a yes, no question, they would like to verify, like yourself, because I saw you noted it. <laughs> um, Is it okay to use deep cycle with the coil? I'm not sure if you're familiar with the, the Healy no, coil, you know? Is it okay to use it with the coil or is it better with the bracelet? Well, that was not a yes, no. <laughs> the, the first, first one was, is... <laughs> is it okay to use with the coil? Yes. Okay, then is Where it better? Right? Is it better with the coil or with the bracelet? No. no? <laughs> is the bracelet better? It's better with the electrodes. Because uh, depending on depending on what you're looking for, but uh, the effects are stronger and uh, and uh, the the frequencies, the microcurrents are made for 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 direct contact. Direct contact, and the electrodes are more like whole body. Like it, it the currents is gonna going through the whole body. Is that right? Yeah, the the current will always travels the shortest way. Mm -hmm. And the, this will do in the next time. We'll talk about uh, currents where it moves how it moves, what frequencies, intensity, and where to place electrodes, because you can put electrodes on the body to have specific effects on specific areas. And uh, one question for you, do you want to come to Singapore? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think because Marcus is going to Singapore this month, so he was asking. Oh, yeah, I'm not coming this month. month but, uh, not this month. <laughs> I'd like to visit okay. Singapore sometime. So we have uh, collected all so many questions and unfortunately, because we are reaching almost two hours now and there are still more than 400 participants online. Thank you very much for your support and for your time. And uh, we will be probably hosting a second webinar next time with more practical tips on how to use the deep cycle harmonics programs and also how we can perhaps have a more instead of just the physical body or the health, we maybe we can talk about the information field or we can talk about how we can achieve abundance, not just health, yeah. but maybe financial relationship wise. Maybe, maybe. It's not my field strongly, but, but um, what I like to do uh, Nest, at least is to go through the possibilities of using uh, electrodes to, uh, to work on specific areas. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's the difference between local air electrodes and central electrodes and more practical things about how it works and how you can utilize it better. Thank uh, you very much. It was a pity we didn't, didn't have time to see my experiment, but um, I hopefully that some of you did uh, have some yes and no answers and uh, possibly we covered some of them during the talk. So um, my experience is that when I did this experience with people, if they were capable, just get accepting the answer like a lot of machine, they're always right. And this way I'm always right when I have my intuition because I learned to trust it. So this you should learn to trust. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we'd like to say thank you to all the interpreters. Uh, Jeannie, we have Maria, we have Fancy, we have Amy. Thank you very much for helping with the interpretation. And uh, lastly, I just want to point out for our members that if you want to find more information regarding the Deep Cycle Harmonics program, it's available in your back office. You can download the flyers. You can also download the user manual for more description regarding each programs. And also Deep Cycle Harmonics programs is available in the current Healy Professional and Healy Resonance Plus Edition, which is right now at 45% off. It's a very good time if you're thinking about the uh, special offer. And also, you'll be able to eligible to receive a free gold edition as well if you purchase before November 20th. 
And even more great news coming in November, there will be a Black Friday sale. If you currently do not have a Healy Professional yet, you'll be able to upgrade it at a very special price. So these are all the information that we would like to share with you today. Thank you so much for your participation. And we look forward to our next interview or next webinar with Yang. And thank you very much for everyone joining from around the world. I will now be just uh, making the uh, participants able to unmute themselves so that they can say thank you to Yang. Let me just see how I can do that right now. And uh, yeah, do you have anything you'd like to add, Yang? <laughs> no, thanks for arranging it. And uh, I didn't expect this uh, to happen this way, but uh, it was like everything in the universe. It comes when it's needed. And I've been thinking about it for a while. It should we do it now? And then suddenly you asked me and I just said, yes. I didn't know you, didn't know anything. But, uh, <laughs> I know, I trusted we put, this, I trust we put this all together in a very rushed time, like in about 10 days, it's all happened. We're so yeah. grateful. Yeah, fantastic. And, uh, and you see, it's uh, always wise to trust your intuition. So I trusted you and I still do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. And everybody, you can unmute yourself, say thank you to Yang thank and everybody. You both. Oh, hi. Thank you. 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 Thank you.